All right, it's time to play some uh, Bubba's Gate, the first in the Bubba's Gate series, which is centered around the... I can't remember what realm it is. Well, it's some... I forget what realm it is in the Dungeons & Dragons universe. But before I begin the game, uh, I'm going to show you guys the uh, intro here. There we go. He who fights with monsters should look into... Look to it that he himself does not become a monster. Yeah, that goes by so quick. Oh, uh, Stormy Knight. Get up the window. This dude. Subway coupons. Ugh, that's a gruesome way to go. Before I begin the actual game, keep one thing in mind. I am not a Dungeons & Dragons aficionado, so... I'm not gonna have an expansive knowledge on D&D. All I know is that this game is based on the second edition. That's all there is to it. Alright, so we gotta create our character. Some of these portraits actually will... Well, I'll get to that part later. Boy. But I think for the sake of, uh... I think for the sake of this uh, character, I'm just gonna choose this one. I have to pick my race. I'm... I think for the sake of me, I'm just going to be a human. Because they can advance as any class and are also the only race that can dual class, but they can't be multi-class, which means you can't have more than two. And what's even more interesting is that humans have no strengths or weaknesses, so I guess that's like good thing, I suppose. And they speak in melodic tones. They're humorous and clever, as are their songs of poetry. There are six racial divisions of elves within the realm of gold elves, moon elves, wild elves, sea elves, dark elves, and brown elves. Unfortunately, not keyboard elves either. Anyways, elves have become a trace of resistance against charm and sleep magics, and provision. Plus one that go, which I forget what that was. I don't know. Anyways, bows, short swords, and long swords, minus five percent open mats, plus five thick pockets, five percent of moves on me, ten percent high in shadows, plus one dexterity, but minus one constitution. So thieves would be the best place for elves. Half elves are pretty much your half elf, half humans. They have thirty percent resistance against charm and sleep magics and provision. And they too, and half elves too are good as thieves. And of course we got our dwarves. Short and stocky, easily identical by their size and shape. Yeah. Thanks for making them stand out. They 
have ruddy cheeks, dark eyes, dark hair, dwarfs dwarf texture. They are given to hard work. They have a little nice humor. It's so probably the uh, straight group of the bunch. They enjoy beer, ale, and beans, but most of all, they love gold. So outside of getting drunk, they love uh, getting rich. There are four the nations of dwarfs, dwarfs, shield dwarfs, gold dwarfs, wild dwarfs, and drugar. Plus two bonus to saving throws versus paralysis, versus death, versus rise to F1, and versus spell with vision rules based on constitution. So the higher the constitution, the better we, the better uh, save. And provision, plus two percent of the max. And set traps. They're hardy, but boy, they're not very they're not very dexterous. They're not very charming either. Halflings are short generally plump people, pretty much like small humans. Wow. About your uh, sensitivity. Anyways, their faces are round and broad and uh, like boring. Their hair is typically curly and the top of their feet are covered with coarse hair. I don't think before they come to home to dangerous adventuring. I don't think it was Bobo Baggins, uh. He was a hobbit, that's right. Anyways, that's gotta be a clarified hobbit versus halfling, but we'll worry about that later. They enjoy good living, rough humor, and homespun tales. There are three racial divisions of halflings within the realm. Barefoot, tall fellow, and stout. They have fallen drinks, plus two bones to save them, versus the same thing as dwarves. They also have five percent open locks, find traps, in pockets, silently, and hiding shadows. They're a little more dexterous than the dwarves, but they're not as strong and they're not as wise. And of course we got our gnomes. Dwarves gnomes are mostly smaller than the distant cousins. Gnomes, as they probably maintain, are also less than a ton than dwarves. Also, dark tan with brown skin and hair and rather large noses. Gnomes have lively and slight sense of humor, especially for practical jokes. They have a lot of nature that is only made of the There are two racial divisions of gnomes within the realm: rock gnomes and deep gnomes. Sver, Sver, Nebla. Following traits, plus two points, blah blah blah. blah. There's most recent constitutions. I'm pretty sure you this yourself. And provision plus 5% open locks. 10 to find traps. 5% silent, hiding shadows. Plus 10% protect the loot. Protect the loot, excuse me. And plus 5 set traps. Plus 1 intelligence, but minus 1 wisdom. Finally, half orcs. Half orcs are formed from the union of humans and orc parents. They are tall as a but a little heavier than the most of those. Forehead, jutting jaw, prominent teeth, and coarse body hair make their lineage plan for, plan for all to see. In the Sword Coast, half orcs are tolerated, as unlike in the north, the local people haven't had centuries of warfare with orc kind. Half orcs are known for their great strength. They have improvision, plus one strength, plus one constitution. Boy, they aren't very bright. No offense to orc lovers out there, so for the sake, I'm gonna be a human. Class. Spiders, Spider is a champion, swordsman, soldier, and brawler who lives or dies by his knowledge of weapons and tactics. Spiders can be found at the front of any battle, contesting toe to toe with monsters and villains. A dead fighter needs to be strong enough to be able to survive. Duh! They can wear helmets, any armor, and use a weapon, find mastery, any weapon class, even lovely. May achieve two specialization, two slots, and any fighting style, and allocate three slots into weapon style, and they start with D10 dive. For those of you who are not familiar with what D, D10 means, that means you roll a 10-sided die. Just like in the actual uh, miniature itself. Oh no. Really? I think? The Rangers are pretty much the same, but I think they're more woodsmen who still have weapons out in the forest. Texas guys lost travels and those pen both. These guys have a little bit more. You may not see specialization in any weapons class, but you specialization in any kind of style. Specialize in two weapons now, so we place a third slot into it. We'll get into this as we level up our characters. You may select a racial enemy, which grants a plus four special bonus to hand damage rolls against the selected enemy race. You may use the charm animal ability once a day. You may use one use at level one, in addition, we select two levels thereafter. You may use the Heinous Shadows ability while wearing no armor, leather armor, set of leather armor. So, lame terms, heavy armor, not so good for rangers. We cast druidic spells starting at level 8. Alignment, restriction to good, hit dice, 10. And they need strength exerting wisdom for dual classing. Fighter. Paladin. 
Four pure, exemplary that we feel true. Iron, just in international combat. These ideals for righteousness, justice, honesty, piety, and chivalry. The strategy of the example of these are so that others may learn from my thoughts and gain by his action. So. Cool. You know, if you guys want to stop and uh, pause and take a look at this, that, that's your uh, discretion. Anyways, cleric. Interesting, uh, he can wear any armor, but can he use related weapons? He only become proficient in any one weapon class and any fighting style. He can turn undead, which, if I remember correctly, can destroy any undead character. He may cast free spells, and it starts with an eight sided die. It's wisdom. Yeah, like I said, if you want to take a look at the features, you can pause the video and, uh, Read the feature for yourself, but anyways, Druid serves the cause of nature and neutrality in the wilderness and his community. He uses a special pressure to protect it and preserve balance in the world. Oof. Wizard strives to be a master of magical energies, so he can cast more spells to do so. He studies strange tongues and obscure facts and devotes much of his time to magical research. The wizard must rely on knowledge and wit to survive. Wizards are rarely seen in adventuring without a book. Because there are different types or schools of magic, there are different types of wizards. The bank? The mage studies all types of magic from a wide variety of spells with broad range of things and also the demands of adventuring. Now he starts with a D4, which means you're not going to see him in combat, or he doesn't deal as much damage. But when it comes to casting spells, nobody better than him. And he needs intelligence. Nah. I mean, you can't have a pea brain mage out there uh, casting spells willy nilly. God knows what's gonna happen. Anyways, the to accomplish this goal, good or ill, he has skill to cutting his Whether he turns his talent against innocent passersby and wealthy merchants or oppressors and monsters is a choice for the thief to make. Kinda sounds like Garrett. Boy, he's got a lot. Now what's interesting is that thief can be any class except lawful blood. Duh. And dexterity is also a given. And he has a d6 die. And there's the bard. The bard is ruled by a very different from the bard's strength. This is a pleasant and charming personality. With it and his wits, he makes his way through the world. A bard is a talented musician, walking through house of gossip, tall tales, and more. He learns a little bit of everything that causes him to get all the master of none. While many bards are scoundrels, their stories are strong, so welcome almost everywhere. Kind of contradictory in my opinion. Of course, he can be any neutral he sees. And he has a six guy. Sorcerers and practitioners of magic who were born with the innate ability to cast spells and face. But the blood of some powerful creature flows through their veins, and they have to spawn with the gods themselves, or even dragons on the human form. Wow. Regardless, the sorcerer's magic is intuitive rather than logical. They know fewer spells than mages and acquire spells more slowly. But they can cast spells more often and have no need to select the fair spells ahead of time. The sorcerer's gonna specialize in magic the way mages do. Other than these differences, the sorcerer is very similar to a mage. That's the one advantage of a sorcerer is this sense right here. Sorcerers learn a small number of spells at any each level which they can cast daily without memorization. Hmm. Monk are warriors who pursue perfection through contemplation as well as action. They are versatile fighters, especially skilled in combat without weapons or armor. When monks cannot cast spells, they have a unique magic of their own. They channel and settle. They settle on what they call key. which allows them to perform amazing feats. The monk's best known feat is their ability to stand upon an unarmed blow. So they're the martial artists of the group. Not quite as powerful as fighters, but I still hold it up. Yeah, like I said, if you guys want to, uh, you guys can uh, pause the video and read all this for yourself. Now, I'm restricted to lawful. Yeah. And finally, the shaman. 
Shamans forge a divine connection with the natural world. Similarly, the rooms are more the but shamans are more spiritual than the fire world. They directly attack the energies that flow through the earth and air, and plants and animals and even the dead, and shape these energies to obey their will. Nowhere is it more evident than in their ability to see powerful spirits as guardians and defenders. Being the two worlds, shamans value balance over dominance. But for the sake of uh, this stream, I'm gonna be a fighter. And there's also a kit. Also, Berserker, Wizard Slayer, Kensai, and Barbarian. Alright, Berserker, this is a warrior who is in tune with his animalistic and enduring combat can achieve an ecstatic state of mind that will enable him to fight longer, harder, more savagely than any person. That's a right that makes sense because Berserker, which comes from the word Berserk, was a bear skin that Vikings wore to make them look more intimidating. Anyways, Berserker seems to be more barbarian like in nature, but not always. Sometimes it is a conscious choice that a warrior in training makes. Regardless, opponents on the battlefield will be unsettled. We see the seven and the human elements of the Berserker's personality. This class is more common amongst the world. Known to them as the Battle Raider. That's a mouthful. The Wizard Slayer. This warrior has been specially trained by his set to excel in hunting and combating spellcasters of all kinds. Oh, like I said before, if you guys want to read this stuff right here, you guys can possibly even read it for yourself. Anyways, we can decide the class is named the sword scene in the common tone. The first world warrior who has been specially trained to be one with his weapon. Kind of like a samurai or a ninja. Anyways, we can decide deadly, fast, and trained to fight without the protection of armor. But despite its common name, Melee weapon, which he is proficient. Mm -hmm. Finally, the barbarian. The barbarian, excellent warrior, not as physical or skilled as a fighter. The barbarian can only throw himself into a berserk rage, becoming tougher and stronger. Hmm, kind of like the sister class of uh, the berserker. Hit die of D12. Like I said, I'm gonna be a fighter. Alignment. You guys can pause the videos and read the alignments for yourself. And this is also useful if uh, anybody's interested in doing uh, actual D&D &D campaigns with uh, like an actual group. Good. Neutral good. Of course, I'm just going to read the last sentence for you guys, so that way you guys get an example of uh, what each alignment is like. Not as a hardworking serf, a kindly and wise king, or a stern but poor right minister of justice are all examples of lawful good. A baron who violates the orders of his king to destroy something that he sees as evil is an example of neutral good. A great frontier from the forever moving on. So he's following his wake, example of chaotic good. A lawful neutral. Bear out traders at any cost or so that never questions his boards are very down to the neutral characters. I think this is probably the most common alignment that people pick. If I remember right, two neutral. They are very few two in the world. I hear this is actually the toughest alignment to play as. It's either this or the chaotic neutral. Lunatics and Mammoth sent towards chaotic neutral behaviors. So between two true and chaotic neutral are the two most difficult. An iron fisted tyrant and a devious greedy merchant are examples of lawful evil beings. So they're making an honest living despite uh, breaking the law. Neutral evil? This one's a little more. Uh, Scrupulous mercenary, common thief, and a double crossing in the form of the curse people to the authorities to protect and advance himself are typical examples of neutral evil characters. Finally, the chaotic evil. Bloodthirsty buccaneers and monsters are low intelligence and up with chaotic evil personalities. I think I'm gonna be a lawful neutral. Abilities. Alright, so strength is the top one. Let's see if I would re-roll. I think the ideal number for total roll is between 
I mean, this looks like a, this looks balanced. All right, I think this looks good. I mean, everything is a little balanced. I mean, its dexterity could be a little better, but I think I'm just gonna do this to add. Oh, just for the record, uh, saving zone for those abilities. It measures strength, measures the character's muscle, endurance, and stamina. It's my requisite of fighters. I should have got knocked down as a charisma a little bit too in favor of higher strength. Anyways, dexterity, dexterity, measures and characters, and eye coordination, agility, reflexes, and balance. Constitution measures a character's fitness, physical resistance to hardship, and disease, and ranger. Intelligence measures the character's memory, reasoning, and learning ability. Now, it's interesting, there's a side note that a character's intelligence score of 8 or less is illiterate and cannot use scrolls or most wands regardless of this class. Enlightenment, judgment, and priests, and finally, charisma. Charisma measures a character's persuasiveness, personal magnetism, and ability to be. The villain is born a druid, bard, and paladin. Yeah, I think this looks good. Let's get some skills in here. Playing a game, gosh darn it. I do know I want to do a short and shield stance. Long sword. And I definitely want him to have a projectile too. So I think for this one I'm gonna do a long ball. No. I mean at least for this first level here, I'm not gonna. Of course, there's no right or wrong way to do this, just so you know. And tumble. You got this coming! Let's give them a right thrashing. I wonder how much these voice actors got paid to do this. Get over here! Feel my power for justice! I'm gonna make it commanding. Of course, his name? Me. Yes, why not? Alright, so. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have three characters. It's gonna be a female. Duh. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. I think she looks alright. I mean, to be fair, you need to have. Because ideally you need a you need a healer. Like I said, if you guys are interested in uh we're gonna teach these does, you can always go to the wiki site and uh use it yourself. But what's interesting is about the clerics is that uh they can be a priest of an individual uh of an individual uh god. 
Kalos Helm. But I think for the sake of this, we're just gonna leave everything balanced. Alignment. I'm gonna make her a lot more good. Is a cleric. What was it that needed a musical cleric? I think wisdom, that's right. I'm not gonna make her as strong. I'm gonna make her wiser and smarter. Okay, so it's intelligence and to a lesser degree constitution and wisdom. Not so much strength. I think this would be okay. Her. Oh, she has fewer, uh, I think a good way to... I'm gonna have her cure light wound, because you really need a healer, especially in these early levels. Appearance. Skin is fine. Sound like a cleric to me. All will die. Your life shall be mine. Death will come swiftly for you. Go, go, go! Now you're going to be sorry. Who's in for it now? You don't stand a chance. Your doom approaches. I think I'm gonna choose to relax. And name, I'm gonna name her. Um, I don't know. That, I don't know. And one more. But I'm gonna make him the Berserker Barbarian because it seems to fit more uh Lucky roll right there. I'm definitely gonna tell the back. That's a lucky roll right there. I'm slightly more nimble. But not so much wisdom. And I don't want to make it that much more leader. Boy, this dude's gonna sack it to you pretty good. <laughs> I think the rest of you is just gonna go towards that dexterity, because why not? Alright. Knowing him, let me give him this. I definitely want him to have a two-handed style. 
you know. that rise from the Sword Coast, the Citadel of Candlekeep houses the finest and most comprehensive collection of writings on the face of Farron. It is an imposing fortress kept in strict isolation from the intrigues that occasionally plague the rest of the Forgotten Realms. It is secluded, highly regimented, and it is home. Within these hallowed halls of knowledge, your story begins. You have spent most of your 20 years of life within this keep's austere walls, under the tutelage of the sage Gorion. Acting as your father, he has raised you on a thousand tales of heroes and monsters, lovers and infidels, battles and tragedies. However, one story was always left untold, that of your true heritage. You have been told that you are an orphan, but your past is largely unknown. So Lately, Gorion has been growing distant from you, as if some grave matter weighs heavily on his heart. You have asked about his concerns as gently as possible, but your queries have been in vain. Your sole comfort is the knowledge that he is a wise man, and you know he will tell you when the time is right. Nonetheless, his silence is troubling, and you cannot help but feel that something is terribly wrong. Today, Orion has appeared more agitated than ever, and now he has uncharacteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day. Imparting hurried instructions for you to equip yourself for travel, he has handed you what gold he can spare, but given no clue as to why. Nevertheless, you now stand before the Candlekeep Inn, ready to purchase what you need for an unplanned and unexpected journey. All right. Yes, let's take a look at the journal here. Gorion, my foster father, has informed me that we must immediately leave Candlekeep and set on a journey. He has given me some gold and I must purchase supplies for the road, including weapons and armor. All right. With caution. Think carefully. Child. Shall we continue your lesson? Thank you, child. I have been told to advise you in the ocean with merchants, innkeepers, taverns, owners, and the like. Is there anything I can tell you such things? On a store screen, the furniture stands are listed on the left. Your own inventory is on the right. To buy or sell an item, select its name on in the list. Select it out, and the items are highlighted. To purchase select items, select the buy button. If you can't afford everything, this button will be disabled. To sell an item, sell. Are you paying attention, or am I talking to myself? Most stores mark up prices on merchandise. If you sell something, you won't be able to buy it back for the same price. Talk about gouging! If you want to listen to people talk, you'll need to drink with them. Choose the beverage of your choice from the list, and buy, and listen. And make sure don't get- and make sure not to get drunk, alright? Nobody likes a drunk pea brain. Not everyone will say something worth hearing, but occasionally you might hear some tidbit that will turn into a quest you can complete. Very true in role-playing games. Alright, I think I get the idea. Very well, should you change your mind, I'll be waiting. Not like I've got anything better to do. Let's see, I guess I'll just do Hello, child. Shall we continue your lessons? I think I pretty much know, uh... I think now everything's starting to come back. Fire beat elven hair. It's a hard nice to find decent folk nowadays. Ah yes, I'm back in the hollow hall of the 
With this iron crisis upon us, the trip from the fair guys was more heavy than I care to relate. Don't go around too hard, aren't you? My, you have come into your own. If you would permit an old man jealous of you to say so. And by the way, I am so jealous. I have to identify Squirrel with Tetral in the inner ground. He should be done examining by now, so if you can fetch it from me, I'd be grateful. Okay, so this would be a first. This would be a good place to get started with the quest. My friend Elvin here, an old mage who makes occasional visit here from Faragost, has left an identify Squirrel with Tetral in the inner ground. I swear, without me to run its endless errands, this keeps from crumbling to Faragost from which it's rang. Wow, thank. Let's talk to Winthrop. See what he has to say. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Well, hello there, young one. Come to visit your old pal Winthrop, have you? Well, don't forget the 10,000 gold. Please book entrance fee as per the channel's chief cousin. Don't you know? I don't want to insult the guy, but, uh... Ha! I'm having a bit of fun with you, my friend. Them monks may be walking about with poles in their nethers, but you know that you are always welcome here in my side. Gorion did well by you, he did. So, is there anything I can do for you? Some drinks, a room to sleep, or anything to buy? What you got? Um, let's see here. Let's go to buy and sell. How much gold do I have? Okay, I have 320 gold. Um, let's see here. Who starts with what? Wait, hang on a second. Hang on a second. I want to go there and see what to start with. Okay, so we all start with stabs. Alright. So, let's see here. We're starting for us two. Okay, so we can't, uh. So we'll roll on myself. Buy a, two short swords for us. For him, I'm gonna get him a stud of leather armor. For me, I'm definitely gonna start off. One sucky thing is that you can't uh, you can't see uh what a. Uh, Self. Helmet, obviously. Wait. I'm gonna sell this one's for me. I'm gonna buy a split man. For me. Okay, he's got the set of leather armor. Oh, I forgot about her, too. I'm gonna purchase a set for her. I think that'll do it for now. Alright, so. Oh, wrong type. There we go. Oh, yeah, this trap's gonna give him the long sword. Yeah, he does better without a shield. Sling. Oh wow, I got myself quite a few uh, stones there, but that's all right. But that's okay. All right, let's sell any leftovers. Oh, we can't sell the stabs. Well, that sucks. But there's some rumors. Some blood wines here, some rumors. Alright, there's nothing here, so. Yes! 
Oh, there was one thing I was gonna do. I just realized. Why did AI on? Um, let me see here. I was trying to think. There was something I was gonna do. Um. Save, no, rest, no. What am I going to do? I'm thinking, there was something I was going to do. It's very specific. For the AI, at least. I probably sure it'll come to fruition as that uh, I will die. Think on. carefully. Let's go to the priest quarters. Actually, oh, let's talk to Lydia. Hello there. Now, hey there. Have you seen my copy of the History of Harlua anywhere? You know, I can't stand the constant shuffling of arthritic feet up in the library. So I thought I'd get a bit of fresh air just to ease of here. And, oh, I hate being so to my Please, if you find it, I really didn't need it back. Otherwise, I'll be bored to death. Jeez. With caution. Hello, child. Shall we continue on the old mission? Is there a color you like to explain? Blue. A character with a blue circle around their feet is neither friendly nor hostile. You may freely initiate dialogue by selecting them. I forget what purple does. Purple circle appears around your character's feet. They are inaccessible, usually for the purposes of a cutscene or a similar event. Where you are unable to use your full party. Yellow? The character's out of control. The most common reason for this is fear or morale failure. These characters will avoid battle at all costs, often running to a remote area of the map. Something you gotta keep an eye on. Okay, so red is enemies. No doubt about it. And greenest party members, alright. It is not the feet, but the aura surrounding them that is born. Return to me if you change your mind and wish to continue your lessons. Yes. With caution. Hey, I want to get in first. Now I get in first. Hello. Oh, Goody, goody, I've gone around and found ye first. You are the ward of Garion, no doubt. I am. Oh, our encounter shall be quite simple for you, plainly put. I've made it my mission to end your life. Success will mean a little respect among my peers. So you see, you can do very little except die. Okay, so this is an example. Oh, nice shot. Uh, nice shot, uh. Nice shot, Beth. Carry more. Think carefully. Think carefully. Oh, excuse me. Hmm? All of you should watch yourselves carefully. There have been some strange men asking about me. Yeah, thanks. Justin. What do you need? Let him left one of her books in here yet. It's in the hay there, beside the cow. If you run it over and then come back, I've got some plans for you. Oh, let's talk to the cow. No. There it is. Right, let's go return her book. Again, with caution. Like that, raising you has been very, has been hard on him. I know. 
but he says it's a toil of love, a toil of destiny, even. You must be a very special child indeed, to draw such praise from a man of his silent nature. Here, take this little gem away. Maybe Winthrop will give you a little something for it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go read. All right. So her, uh, so we finished one quest already. We'll be. Think carefully. Think carefully. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. I'm gonna sell these too. No time to chit chat. Step up to the heat, young one. You'll need a good fog to warm the chill stairs of those monks. Most in hospital they are. Isn't that so, lovey? Oh yes, darling, they are most fish. Hmm. Should I support them or should I support the monks? I'll go number four. Perhaps. But if they wish no one to enter, it is a simple matter of not letting anyone enter at all. It would certainly be a shame if they did, though. Such a storehouse of knowledge has limited use if no one can use the store of knowledge. Ah well, this cows you enough here by the bar to wash away any troubles I otherwise have with the place. I think we got a little bit of insight there. Now let's head upstairs. Anything of use with up caution. here? Sleeping dude. Nah, uh, well, I'm not one for thievery because my character can't, uh, well, because my character's, uh, lawful neutral. Okay, and I don't have lock picking, so that's not gonna do me any good. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll just let sleeping dogs lie, you know? Oh, let's talk to this person right here. Don't Supplement. touch me! Yes, might something. I help you? Oh, indeed. Such a wondrous depository it is. I have returned on many an occasion, much to my banker's dismay, and have not even scratched the surface of the collection here. Would that it were so for all my noble brethren. I fear many come to the keep merely to proclaim that they did. I suppose it makes them appear more intelligent, despite the fact that they have the IQs of a gnat. Those simple quizzing places, the majority of them, securely above the chimp level. I am sorry I tend to tremble. Good eve to you. Yeah, nice conversation there, Chief. Oh, another one. Away with you, beggar! What? I certainly hope there's an explanation for this intrusion. Explain yourself. My name is Quincy. Beyond that, it is beyond that is my own business and none of your concern. Leave, lest I report this intrusion to the god. Boy, these noblemen are so uh snooty. You know, just because you got tons of money doesn't mean you can throw your weight around. Unless I get having your weight thrown around. Think oh, anyways, let's get carefully. out of here. Right. Think carefully. Alright, so our next stop. So our next stop. We could go to the storehouse. Oh, let's go here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm supposed to go back to him. That's right. Nice diet, ain't it? Too bad Nessa ain't here to en ain't enjoying it, though. Her being sick and all. I need to get her one of them potions of antidote off hull. He stayed up drinking last night and got hauled out of bed to, the to man the gates early this morning, so I bet he's got a few of them lying around somewhere. Okay, so. There's another quest right here. Nessa the cow's family been under the weather today. Dreffin's asked me to get a portion of antidote from Hall, who's been posted to the gate this morning. It appears that Hall has been using them to avoid his morning hangovers. I'm truly sorry, but hangovers don't work like that. I suppose we can talk to this, this priest here. 
wonder what does he have to say? I'm curious. Hello, child. I'm to instruct Shall you all. Shall we continue oh. your lessons? Why do people make donations? For various reasons. Some of us receive donations as being for information. Clergy members are often aware of what we're going on. Especially large donations, typically recognized by a temple staff. They may speak of your good deeds to anyone visiting, improving your reputation. Highly important. One of the albums for free. Some ventures sometimes forget that spells are not easily cast. Even raising them the dead costs valuable resources. I find it kind of pointless to raise the dead to begin with. A successful life of adventure will supply you with ample gold to pay for whatever healing services you need. And when you need them, a temple will gladly offer those services for a nominal fee. Alright, I'm gonna go talk to this dude. What think These carefully. walls contain the world's knowledge. I am pleased to see that you have taken the time to pay tribute to us, Agma. Hmm. Well. Well. Let's see here. Okay, so there's, a, so there's not. Okay, so we really can't afford much at this point. Um, but we can, however, do a little donation. I'll give him ten coins. So yeah, basically, the more you uh. So the higher the donation, the better your reputation goes up. And I think there's a, I think there's a point, or I think there's a minimum. Anyways, I hear relations haven't been going too good between the two powers in this region. The Grand Duke supposedly accused Am of all the raiding that's been happening along the roads. Not a good thing to go accustom the most powerful country in the Western world. Okay, so that just activates another quest. So what does this have to say? Tension seems to be building between Baldur's Gate and Am. All right. Anyways. Let's go to the storehouse. God, I wish there was a way this thing could go faster. But not too fast. Because this is just... Well, it's not terribly slow. Oh, let's go talk to this watcher. How's it going, dude? I should have joined the army. Dude, you're a soldier. Quit complaining. Winthrop has kept his prices as low as he could, but I expect that to change soon. It's been weeks since a trading caravan has made it here. Hey, guys. Uh, guys? Come on, let's go. Let's go talk to this fine person here. John DeLar. Hey. hey there, Ken. I see you're early. Up early to say. Well, your father, Goran, has asked me a strange favor. The very instant somebody says that they asked for a strange favor, not only is that a red flag, but I would just walk away as slowly as possible. Seems like he wants you to learn some fighting and asked me to be the teacher, so I hope you brought your staff with you. Hostile creatures have... Yeah, we already know about this. We already went over this. Left-clicking with this circle will direct you to attack me. You can switch weapons using the quick weapons icon. Weapon outline in green is the current weapon. Attack with this only and be quick slot if you only wish to knock your opponent unconscious. You don't have to worry about that stuff with me, so use your staff. If you have magical abilities, try casting a spell on me by left-clicking on the spell, yada yada, blah blah blah. So pretty much left click for pretty much everything. During our fight, I'm going to spring a little surprise on you. Remember, you can press the space bar at any time and pause the game. This will give you time to think, especially once my little surprise comes up. Are you ready now? Good. Highly important to learn. All right. Oop. I'm going to put the staff just for the sake of this fight. You did, you did good, kid. Especially after Eric started firing his arrows at you. I'm sure your father would be proud. You should go talk to the gay one if you want some experience in fighting with a group of people. You can find him just south here. Out there, it can be pretty important to know how to fight with allies at your side. Also important. I thought I asked you to clean the rats out of this building yesterday already. Hop to it. Get in there. All right, fine. I'll clean out the rats for you. Jeez. So neat. You're catching a bad case of death. Think. Feel my power. Wait 
wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. Okay, there are two cats in here. That didn't deal with the rats. Yes? With caution. Yes. Why more of these ah, yes. Armor? Kill them like the rats that they are. A glorious battle unlike any this world has ever seen. Here's five gold pieces. Don't spend it all in one place. Yeah, like five gold's gonna get me uh, anywhere. But I'm a little confused on something here. Think carefully. There were two Think cats in here, carefully. and yet neither of them killed a single rat. So what's the point of having these cats then? Oh, jeez. Probably best not to overthink or uh, get too heavily involved in this. And I hate to break it to you, but this is not much of a storehouse if only one item uh, is in there. Alright, anyways, let's get carefully. going. Alright, where to next? Okay, there's the clinic. Um... Uh, we can't enter the castle yet. Everything feels possible oh. on a beautiful, bright day. Shall we continue your lessons? This one I'm trying to remember. Yes, anytime you enter a major plot area or leave a world map area, your game is saved. So basically there's... So which means you can only autosave a couple times and uh... Now the week before that was in Netro. Was that before or after it fell? Yes. Yeah, that's the first thing I forgot when I played uh, Icewind Dale. Was how to save. I was like, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's Hall right there. Hey, Hall. How's it going? <sighs> oh, hey, kid. I woke late this morning. I left my sword in the barracks before going on duty. This hangover is killing me. If you want to get it for me, it's in the chest at the foot of my bed on the right side of the barracks. Quick now, before the gate warden catches me without it, you'll also find an antidote there. I think Drippin needs one for old Nessa. Oh, because apparently uh, my hangover is more important than a cow's life. Oh, and if you do come across the gate warden, don't tell him about this hangover. It's simply dread. Our rules are very strict. Hello there. I thought I should tell you that Gorin has been looking to talk to Ken and all of his friends. You should go talk to, Go to Gorin as soon as possible. Yeah. We already know that. Thanks. But first things first. Jeez. I can take Drizzt with both my arms tied behind my back. Uh, thankfully quiet here today as usual. I hear there are problems outside though. Something about an iron shortage. That's a quest for later. Think carefully. Okay, so he says so his bed is on the right side. Um, so this must be it. I think I'll take the antidote. That's all. Yeah, it's Think not a wise idea carefully. to steal anything, especially if there's armed guards around. And since I don't have a thief in my party, I can't uh, lockpick the uh, chests. All right, Hall, here's your sword. Lazy bum. Took your sweet time, didn't you? Garion's a fool for trying to bring you up right, and you can tell him I said so too. If I didn't know any better, I'd say this whole iron crisis is the result of twips like you wandering off with people's swords. Here's 10 gold pieces, and I'll get out of here. I'm on duty. Wow, talk about gratitude! I got you your sword, and this is how you say thanks? I mean, sure, 10 gold pieces is nice, but, uh, hey, I saved you your job! And don't give me any lip either, otherwise I'll tell Gorion about you. Jeez. Jeez. But and I think Fire Beat Scroll, I think it's a little bit later, if I remember right. Let me inner 
rounds. Okay, here's the antidote. Hey, you're a wonder. You're a wonder you are. Stick with me and we'll go far. Well, okay, stick with me and we'd probably never leave the walls of Candlekeep, would we? They, sh they say the bandits out there aren't after gold or gems anymore, but just plain old iron. Once again, referring to the iron shortages. It's one of them, whatchamacallit's, paradoxes or whatever. I don't know if par paradox would be a correct word. I think coincidence would be a better word. It's dangerous, so you want to wear some good solid plate and carry an axe that make Tempest jealous. But rather than protecting you, it just makes everyone want a piece of you, right? Give me my druthers. I guess I'd rather stay right here. Alright. I was going to say, if that was a potion of fire breath, uh, I guess we're going to have a side of beef tonight. <laughs> let's see here. That's the bunkhouse. Yeah, let's go to the bunkhouse. Think see carefully. Anything, see if anything uh, comes up. Grinds little whip, aren't you? Yeah, you match the description. You don't look so dangerous to me. I am a child, if that's what you mean. Foster child, gotta keep it straight. He raised you as his own, but you are not of his blood. Your head ain't worth nothing if you're actually a child. Nah, I think you're the right one. My ticket out of the gutter as soon as I snuff your lights. Jeez. a monster with that slingshot. Dang. Second time that, uh... Second time she killed a dude in one hit. Note to self, don't mess with Beth. Because she, uh... Well, let's see here. Let's see here. There's a way to, uh... Oh, yes, the mage book for her, but... Well, at this point, we can't learn any more spells. Here we go. Yeah, because our dexterity is so high. Well, like I said, I'm not going to mess with her. Oh, yeah, this is where I wanted... Oh, yeah, that's right. That's another thing about D&D uh, &D is that... Uh... I think I think it's usually the weaker classes that require less XP, whereas more of the fighters require more. If that sounds right. I'm just trying to think. Well, that's not it. Let's see here. Um, customize. Here we go. This is what I want. Appearance. Um, here we go. Script. I prefer to use ranged weapons. Let's see here. Wait, hang on. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Okay, now we gotta get him going too. Let's see here. Script. Let's see here. I prefer him using melee weapons. Yeah. Alright. I think we're just about done here. Alright, anything else? Yes. I can bring out of his house. Oop. Here. Let's With caution. 
Think carefully. Think carefully. Something on your mind? I think you should watch yourselves carefully. There have been some strange men asking about me. Yeah, we already established that. Thanks. You don't need to remind us twice. We're not idiots. What is over here? Is there anything of use? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, of course not. Well, anyway, it's time to go, uh... It's time to go to camp. Hey, uh, it's me, Emmowen. I'm surprised that stuffy old Goryan let you away from your studies and chores. That old fiddle battle, I stuck off too. Old Popguts Winthrop was looking for me. But I've got all day to do his chores. You have time. You have, you have time for a story today. No, I can tell you don't. What you been up to? Hmm. Either number one or number two. I don't want to be a. I don't want to be a total snoot to her. Um. If you say so, you sure picked up a lot from old Orion. He never tells it straight either. Good luck on your trip. Er, I mean, good luck with whatever you're doing. Wait. Wait, what do you know of my journey? Yeah, let's do number one. Oh, I know. Old stick in the mud that he is. All worried about nothing. I'm sure. Better go now, because you've got a long ways to travel. Not... Not that I would know, especially since I didn't peek at old Mr. G's private letters. No, sir. Better go now. Bye-bye. Oh, by the way, I totally did. What a weird individual. And there he is, Gorion. Oh, my child. I am glad I have found you. This is very unnerving, I know, but you must trust me. It is very important that you pack your possessions so that we leave, we leave Kendall keep immediately. Hurry, there is no time for... Oh, excuse me. Oof. Let's try that again. Hurry, but there's no time to tell you. The keep is well protected, but not invulnerable. My dear child, you should know yourself well enough to purchase the gear you need. I have given you what I can spare, so hurry off to the inn and speak with Winthrop. Use your skills as a ref. Buy what basis you want. Though spend wisely, this price is off fair, but you may not have enough gold to purchase all that you would want. Let's question this a little bit further. Candle Keep is indeed a formidable obstacle for ne'er do wells, but it is not insurmountable. No matter how thick the mesh, at least one mosquito must always find its way through. No, my child, we must leave as soon as possible for our safety, and for that, our friends here. You know? Well, alas, I cannot, for I have not truly decided yet. All that is certain is that we will be far safer on the move. Perhaps the woods might offer some secluded security. Or perhaps the city of Baldur's Gate would offer cover amidst its teeming throngs of people. I do not know where we shall end up, but I have a few, a few friends here and there. Hmm, I will think on this. Let's see here. Well, you know what? I'm going to switch. I'm going to do one thing real quick. I'm going to give my uh, half-orc a better weapon. More Something that's more suited for him. Bastard sword. That'll be that'll be to my advantage. Well, actually, it'd be more to his advantage. I mean, although long sword wouldn't be bad. Right. What's this then? Does 
he have a Bastard Sword or not? Yes, he does. I'll just buy one. Alright. Boy, talk about price gouging. Oh, I don't have enough gold. Hmm. It's possible I should. Oh, wait a minute. My hotel's as clean as an elven arse. Gross. Remember, so would it be better for I think. Yeah, I think, yeah, like I said, the Master Sword is better for him. There's so many decisions to make in this game, it's kind of funny. that I need. I'm gonna technically could buy her a better weapon. But But she's more proficient with the quarter staff, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Yes. Okay, so I might as well head back to uh caution. Brian and uh well might as well get going. Not like anything else I need to get done around here. So, Tap Terrell is the person I gotta find for the scroll. Alright, I guess we're ready to go. Listen carefully. If we ever become separated, it is imperative that you make your way to the Friendly Arm Inn. There you will meet Khalid and Jahira. They have long been my friends, and you can trust them. Sure. Let's so have our journey begins. The night can only get worse, so we must find shelter soon. Don't worry. I'll explain everything as soon as there is time. Wait, there is something wrong. We are in an ambush. Prepare yourself. You are accepted for it, old man. You know why I'm here. Hand over your ward and no one will be hurt. If you resist, it shall be a waste of your life. You're a fool if you believe I would trust your benevolence. Step aside and you and your lackeys will be unearthed. I'm sorry that you feel that way, old man. this morning. You awake with the realization that you have not been living some horrible dream. Ambushed, you saw Gorion cut down before your eyes, and even his powerful magic could not stop the onslaught. It was his wish that you flee, but that does not remove the feeling of helplessness that now overwhelms you. Hand over your ward, the armored fiend had said. He was after you and you alone, but why? If only Gorion had given some clue. But now you are alone and lost. Candlekeep is near, but you will find no quarter there. The readers pay for their serenity with rather draconian entry rules, and without Gorion's influence, their doors will remain closed. 
you will not last long on your own with your meager equipment. Perhaps you can get some help from the friends Gorion mentioned, the ones at the Friendly Arm. Hey, uh, it's me, Emmeline. What the? What's she doing here? Sorry, I followed you, but I never can get out of candle keeping those books are such a bore. Never getting these and coin in their pockets, neither. I, I saw Gorion, and I am so sorry. I kind of figured something bad might happen. Throughout the night, and now a plethora of people is running about the woods. You do look at touch more hospitable than the last two I met, though. Well met, stranger. I'm called Call C. I mentioned about the two people. I doubt these are the ones you see. They do not seem the friendly type, and are far afield in the end. If you wish to meet them, I let them. Not a moment. Go just up the road. You have to pass them anyway. You wish to go to the friendly arm. There is a crossroads way to the east and the inn north of that. I have little to give besides advice and goodwill. Make friends where you can. As traveling alone is almost certain death. You want to surround yourself with like minded companions, lest you risk making enemies in your own party. Aside from this little tidbit of wisdom, I say you're on your own. Luck be with you. Badly well, as they say. All right, so that's our next stop. So I have to go to the north. Oh, that's their story. Montalon, you are so aggravating! She's disturbing to my demeanor! Watch out, wandering the wildernesses! Surely you must be none too bright to be traveling these roads! And you look a bit scuffed too. A fine pair of troubles all your own. Indeed, I can offer healing potions if you wish as a token of goodwill. Nothing to fear from these simple potions, and I'm not even holding you in debt, though your conscience knows otherwise. Just like all good people. Perhaps this payment you go with us to Nashgau. It is a trouble there and we need to investigate some disturbing rumors surrounding the local mine. Some acquaintances are very concerned about the iron shortage. Specifically, where do they blame in the matter? It would be useful though, I'll not hold you to it. We are to meet the mayor of the town, a man named Baron Guestkill, I believe. Your conscience be your guide. We have precious little time, but it's best to travel a company. I will go with ye. Ye owe this for our time, though. Alright. So that's another, uh, pathways we have to go to Nashville now. And we uh, got a potion out of the deal, so. Everything feels possible on a beautiful, bright day. Pinkos, what does he have to say? Hmm? Sorry, chum. I can't stop the chat. There's been another caravan raided northeast of Fergus, and I must report these dire disgrace to the Grand Duke. A messenger's work is never done. Tis true. Huh. Think well, perhaps you could uh, investigate these matters for him. All right. Oh, there, wanderer. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Oh there, wanderer. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. It's been nigh on two or ten days since I've seen a soul walking this road, and I've been without decent conversation since. The trees are boring, and they don't say much. You could say their bark is worse than their bite. 
Traveling nowadays appears to be the domain of either the desperate or the deranged. Or perhaps both. If thou wouldst pardon my intrusion, may I inquire what pertains to thee? Taken and thou hast answered my query most adequately. I shall think of thee as determined instead. I shall trouble thee no more, as thou art more than capable of the task at hand. North is the friendly arm in, where I am certain thou shalt find trustworthy friends awaiting. I have said too much and taken too much time from thee. Fairly well. I met Rest a strange... when we can, fight when we must. I met a strange man on the road to the friendly arm in. He seemed interested in me. What does say? Lion's way, candle keep to the west, coast way to the east. With caution. Okay. Oh, we've done so much My today. Maybe it's down to side. What is the plan? Think carefully. And what does this say? Coast way, friendly arm into the north, Bergos to the south, Lion's way west to candle keep. So let's just stick to the roads. So we're going to have to head north. And this is a good opportunity to uh, get used to the combat because there's going to be a lot of it later on. And with creatures, not Hello, so well. Not so friendly. I've seen more dangerous species, but usually over my shoulder as I'm making tracks as fast as I can. No shame in running when your life is on the line. Off with you now, I have meat to catch. Hmm. Yes, think carefully. What's this sign say? Okay, so to the north. Run the arm into the north. Alright, we made it. Safe at last at the friendly army. My next step should be to find and introduce myself to Kelly and Hey! You're here, friends of Goran. They can give me some advice as to what to do next. Nash Kelwold. Yes. You know what? Let's hang on a minute. Where is Nash Kel? Oh, Nash Kel's to the south. Boy, that's a way south. Yes. Okay, so I literally have to travel to the south if I want to, uh... With caution. If I want to get to my destination, because what I'm going to do first is help them out before, uh... Before, uh... Meeting Gorion's friends. Oh! One thing I should mention with these fast travels is that... Even if the destination is reachable, you can still encounter random monsters. A good place to get some experience, but if you're tight for time... Characters they perform less well in combat.
Vergas to the south. And do it. And out. Hey ya. Must dash to Bergast, I must. Governor Keldath must be told of the extra troops being sent his way. Bergast is to be garrisoned in case of enemy and attack. Though no, Hammond has denied such intent, of course they would deny the snakes. Make way for the messenger! Yeah, nice conversation there, Chief. What is this? You funny looking! Don't you get any closer, I'll have Mom come and give you the belt! Oh, sure, that's what the other group of bandits said, and then they went and attacked the camera, and I just... Oh, they were a bunch of players, I'm just like you. Get lost! Wow. What do you need? Oh, what do we have here? Need directions? You seem a friendly sort. So I thought I'd offer my services as a guy. What do you need from the town of Bergost? There are many inns for the Google adventurer. The Red Sheep is basic rooms, and the clientele is touch rowdy. There's also the Burning Wizard and the Jovial Juggler, which also have finer suites. The Red Sheep is near the center of town, as is the Burning Wizard. The Jovial Juggler is a bit further along, and sits on the southern edge of the city. The finest inn would have to be Felt Post, though it is also quite friendly. Lots of local color, Field Post Inn is the lower west side of the town. Now, from friend, enjoy your stay. Okay, so there is a quest attached to this. In the inner grounds. I gotta find Tetoro now. I suppose it would be a bad idea to rest up. Some bustle city this is. Yeah, let's see what the prior has to say. By order of the most radiant of not that it can let the world be. Governor of Bergos, and in the best interest of its peoples, for when there is a bounty placed upon the head of the mad clan Bessilus for the crimes against nature he has committed. And I want to bring proof of his demise to the Song of the Morning Temple shall receive no less than 5,000 gold. Hear ye, hear ye! If an I'm not allowed to sleep, our next assailants may just live. I tire. I'll be okay. much more agreeable with rest! Will you guys just be patient? Jesus Christ. Alright, we'll get to the, uh, in just a minute. Garrett, Hello there. Sleep. I yeah, adventures. I have a proposal for you. I heard that you're an excellent group of warriors. How would, to, how would you like a well-paying job as bodyguards for my mistress? Tell us more. I'm Garrick, and I work for Silk Rosanna. She's the most skilled musician and actor along the Sword Coast. In fact, she used to play at the Ducal Palace before the month's death. However, she's been having some problems as of late. Sometimes I've been hired by Feld Post. I had to have bad because she didn't perform on his inn when she was supposed to. You can't blame her for not showing up, but with a villain like Feld Post running the place, she needs some mercenaries to protect her until she's ready to go to Baldur's Gate. She's willing to pay about 300 gold. What do you say? Show us this mistress of yours. I think you've made a good decision. Now just meet me outside of the Red Sheep Inn. And this one's a pretty easy quest, in my opinion. That's her. Silk, that's her. Greetings, mercenaries. I am Silky. That's been extraordinary. So, Garrick, these are the only mercenaries you could find. I guess they'll have to do. You look to be about 300 gold. That's what my little Garrick offer you, isn't it? I offer them 300 gold, like, just like you told me. Well, then, I assume that Garrick has to explain what your duties are. You must simply dispose of the ruffians. And they come to threaten you. They should be too hard to deal with, but I would advise you to strike fast. Whatever you do, don't speak with them. 
One of them is a mage whose mystic words can sway even the most wise of men. There they are. Oh, yeah, no, Count those thugs. Strike when I tell you to. Greetings, Silky. Hey, here. As you guys. Now, and we have the. Don't try to threaten me. I won't be easy prey for you to be on. I've brought friends. What are you talking about? Are you here with the gems, Dad? Shut up. There shall be no weaseling out of this one. Strike now. Kill them all. Don't leave one of them to live. What are you doing, Silky? I'm gone, man. These are innocent men you're attacking. These sniveling altruism has always made me say, Garrett, shut up and stay out of my way. Oh, you're already dead. <laughs> Wow. You've done a good job for all your efforts. Here's the money that I owe you. Perhaps you will need to get Money mongering riffraff. Oh, excuse me, don't tell the busy right now. Well, at least you held up her end of the bargain, I guess. Oh, let's go to the inn and rest up. Almost dead. Need to get rid of these gems too. You're at the end of your rope, I'll wager. Not that it's anything personal, you understand, but I'm afraid your time here in this ball of mud is just about done. You've done nothing to anyone, as far as I know. It don't matter one whit to me. A price is a price and a head is a head, and whenever the two meet, there's old Carlot making his living. Like I said, it's nothing personal. My Get away! Cut you down to ah. Ah. Think carefully. Yes. Yes. With caution. This one was a more difficult fight, I got to admit. Letter here. Bounty. Be it known to all those of evil intent that a bounty has been placed upon the head of Ken, the foster child of Gorion. Last seen in the area of Candlekeep, this person is to be killed in quick order. This offer has been extended to all appropriate guilds. Those returning with proof of the deed shall receive no less than 350 gold. As always, any that reveal these plans to the forces of law shall join the target in their fate. What's more protective, my chain mail or my splint mail? Armor class of four versus armor class of five. Oh, that's right. These numbers go in reverse order. That's right. So. Did she benefit from the chain mail? The answer is I think she can. Okay. All right. Monty Python reference. I'm an um, Jack and I'm okay. I work, I work all night and I sleep all day. Look, can I just find a person who's willing to give me a room so I can rest up for the night? Purdue, maybe he can offer me a room for the night. We have things that we know. Hello, you wouldn't happen to see a big lotus guy with a dog's head on him around, have you? Dog's head? You earned me a dog's head! And bread that could peel paint, too! A no. Yeah, a no. There's one old up in the L's D.O.S. air, close to the high head. Damn, demon baller first stole my short sword two days back! Yeah, yeah, lay off the short guy, guy jokes. They're older than your grandmother's uncle. That damn blade ain't worth nothing. It's a pride thing. I'll give you a 50 gold pieces if you swipe its arse with it. Got yourself a deal. Yeah, yeah. Now, how about a, how about a room? Like, seriously. 
We need a room for the night. Think carefully. Glad to meet you, friend. Hail and well met, Traveler. Rallo is the name, Rallo Winspear. Haven't seen you around here before. Perhaps you are new to town, then. I can, I make a point of meeting as many people as I can wherever I go. So many stories and tales. Let's talk about Baragos. What would you like to know? I've met many of the locals and I know a bit of history as well. Ah, an adventure, eh? Well, if you're up to the test, I hear there are strange things in the Ulcaster School Room southeast of town. I would not go down there unless you are quite sure of your abilities, though. Many a well-meaning fellow has gone and not come back. Only for those adept in battle. Other than that, I know that the Lady Moraine has been waiting news of her husband for some time. He wants to come up from M, but it's overdue. I know she will be grateful for any news. She lives on the east edge of town if you find anything. Anything you would like to know of? I suspect you mean the iron shortage. I imagine it has affected the local fam local smithy quite a bit. Tarum is a wonderful blacksmith, but he's got a lot of time on his hands these days. His shop is still reasonably stocked, but I think he's looking for other materials to work on these days. Not sure what that might be, but he's quite adept at exotic materials. Anything else? Okay, we already know about this. Shopping? Then you must stop by Felpost Inn. They have a number of trophy items for sale. Some are even magical in nature. Best you bring gold to plenty, though. They are not cheap. If you really have coins to spare, I suggest going west of the city and seeking out Thelenter. He has a shop in his keep, though he does not welcome visitors. Trust me, you'll want to speak with him immediately if you go there. Wondering about a shop without permission is downright deadly. I think he likes scaring folks a bit. Anything else you need? Then what's the point of having a shop if you don't have people browse? Not a problem. Always a pleasure making new friends. With caution. Can okay, I please get a room? I'm a werewolf, baby. Now here I am. I'm a werewolf, baby. Now and here I come. Blech. Okay, this dude is obviously. With cool. caution. I think he had a little too much. Think carefully. I just want a room for the night. Is that really so much to ask? Oh, there is one place to go. That's right, the inner grounds. Here's the smithy. With caution. Speak up. Speak Hello, up. What can I do for you this day? Oh, it's no trouble at all. You can expect nothing but the best in service from the Thunder Hammer Spitty. Best armors in land. If you need some help, don't hesitate to speak to Tarim himself. Alright, so where is he? Oh, there he is. He's over there. Kiss me, Black. What you wish done? Alright. Start selling some of these gems. I have 420 gold, which is not bad. Okay, 1d8. 1d8. Is this a one-handed weapon? Yeah. Armor class plus one. Yeah, I'm definitely going to sell the shield. Oh, hang on. There you go. That's how you do it. Hello? Hang on. What is he equipped with currently? Okay, it's a short sword. Hmm. Yeah, it's a slashing, uh. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. Could you? Okay, I don't have anything 
where they're identifying, so. he equipped with? I never got the chance to see his uh, equipment. Oh, just a dagger. Alright. Oh yeah, that was one other thing I was going to do. Oh, she's a thief. Okay, so which means I can start lockpicking some of the uh, items. So I can only do one or the other. Think carefully. <sighs> All right, let's go find that. Let's go find an inn and get rested up here. My characters are exhausted. Think carefully. Oh, oh, but two. and give me the girl. Surely you won't risk your life for a stranger. By my right as a wizard of fay, we must study her anomalous power, whether or not she comes with it. You shall not be privy to my method. It is none of your concern, and she is a danger to both herself and lovers. Hand her over now, or I shall cut you down. If you wish to die for this wild mage, so be it. Away with you, you pompous creep! Not again! Candlewood, where did you go? We can't let her escape. Slaughter them all, and we'll sort this out once we find him. as well as mine. I swear, I'm quite a skilled spellcaster. I can hurl a fireball like you wouldn't believe. Fantastic! Let me just get my... Well, nothing. I'm ready to go now. Okay, so... You can't have more than six, and these two have to stay with you, so we're gonna leave her behind. Just, just like that, we are friends and everything. Been friends for years, I guess. We 
Yes, I'll just wait till you meet him. Yes, you will. Just wait and see. Well, yes. You really don't offer to. There's still coming handy at another time. It is based on uh, lower numbers or with caution. Lower numbers have better protection. I just wanted to get rid of these two guys right here. I'll come back and get Emoen. I'm Mullen. Whatever her name is. her deal. She is a wild mage, all right. Okay, there's Stand back there. and watch this. Hey. Yes. No one just yet. Wait for the rest of us. Here now, get out. I don't like your type in here. <laughs> you tell him, Marl. Yes. Are you talking to me? Hey, I told you yet, Moss. Ain't no room here for you trouble making strangers. Hey, I take whatever shape I want. I'm sick of you freakish adventurers going out consorting with gods know what and dragging your trouble back into my own time. What do you say to that? Oh, you think it's funny, do you? You mess up the local economy with your treasure, you upset the balance of nature, and you flash your magic around, and because of it, maybe somebody's son thinks it's funny, goes out and gets himself killed. It's a bad example, and somebody ought to kick your ass for it. Good boy, so you kind of came to town. The elders have his nonsense, they did. And because of it, he's dead. Now, why shouldn't I take that out of your hive? Yeah, that ain't true. He was, going, he was going to take over the farm and settle down. Maybe your apprentice with Thunderhammer during the winter. He never wanted to adventure. That was what you wanted, Marl. Fun's fun, but you're blaming these folk for what couldn't be helped. That boy was a firebrand, if ever he was. No, he was settling down. He wanted... He wanted... That new plow you bought last year. He got the gold by helping clear kobolds near Olaf's beard. He wanted to make a difference. Make the realms a bit safer. Just like these folks, most likely. Why, like, Kachuna, why couldn't he just stay home? Nothing. Rise you, rest you well. I, I would be alone a while. Oh, I got an achievement out of this. Nice. Here's your words. Well, tis the calmest I've done seeing him in a week. Still the best movie you want. Marl ain't known for his steady moods. Let's take a look at Marl's loss. Um. When we can fight when we must. I'll tell you this journal. I named Marl tried to pick a fight with me at Pelkin, but I was able to calm him down. Marl lost his son in Kenar Nephine. Okay. Well. That's about enough. Think carefully. I got some cheap beer for ya. Low profile for these tempers are short for strangers right now, so what do you want? Let's say at the Royal Inn. 
Now, I'm not entirely sure what the qualities of these rooms are. Maybe, maybe if you pay a little bit more, maybe you don't get fatigued as much? Eh, I don't know. A lot of tap here. Um, let's see what you got. Well, I can sell these leather armors. And a worthless ladder. All right. All right, we're done here. Think carefully. So, I think we'll just be on our way out of here. Yes. Think carefully. Oh, Firebrand, that's right. Oh, that's right. It's so hard to find decent folk nowadays. Ah, you're old Garin's ward, the lonely kid of Candlekeep. Of course, I've heard about the loss of Garin, and I must give you my deepest condolences. I hope you've left Candlekeep. You've kept up on your reading. Oh, the world of books. I have heard that a new copy of that wondrous tome, The History of the Faithful Coin, can be had for a pretty penny in one of the stores around here. If you'd be so kind as to buy from an old man like myself, I'll gladly reimburse you. I didn't even give you a little bonus to help in your travels. It must be so hard with Goryan gone. How would he know? Was this really for the scroll from a uh, quest? Well, he left a scroll here. So Caution. Baragos to the north. Well, we gotta. Yes. Flaming fist. 
You there, you're under arrest for bandit train highway robbery. We know you're part of that bandit group who's been terrorizing the coastal. Give yourself now or there will be trouble. Really now, why should we believe you? All right, maybe I was wrong about the bunch of you. You're free to go. Well, that's not the definition of awkward. I don't know what is. All right. Think carefully. I know at some point I want to use bows and arrows, but just not right now. Maybe at some point in the future. I think Neverwinter is another series in the D&D franchise, or franchises, excuse me. Oh, I actually hail from Waterdeep. The great city of Splendors has much more in the matter of social luxuries suited towards my particular tastes. I do, however, make a point of keeping in touch with Neverwinter, though I have only visited once previously. It was quite popular on those nights, if I recall correctly. I'm going to make a second trip in the coming year, and I'll wager it will be as popular again. With caution. What weird characters you meet along the way. Alright. Alright, so we arrived at Nalkesh. With your hurried flight from Candlekeep barely behind you, the troubles facing the Sword Coast seem an unfamiliar blur to your fractured nerves. 
Gorai would not have you sit idle, however, and perhaps investigating local concerns will shed some light on your own predicament. How the iron shortage or the trouble in the Nashville mines could possibly be linked to you, you have no idea. Everything comes into fruition later on. All this traveling, all this adventure, how do you manage it? <laughs> Until now, I was barely able to keep my head above water. Yet here with you, it seems almost easy. Oh, well, yes, there's obviously that. I just meant that ordinary things are easier. I'm not constantly worried where my next meal is coming from, or whether a kobold will sneak up and slit my throat as I sleep. Yes, rocks for a pillow, eating clay, all that and more. My fortune seems to have come in waves, as ever since High Forest. That's me, born and raised in the thicket. At least until my mistakes piled up high enough to come crashing down on me. So call me a coward. I freely admit to fleeing with wild abandon. And, and I know just how it looks. A meaning or two, if you don't count the second degree burns. Completely accidental, and everybody lived. Well, at least I'm pretty sure everybody lived. During our magical training, we were supposed to summon a sphere of fire. Mine got away from me somehow. One moment I was concentrating, the next moment my classmates were rolling on the floor screaming. No, I did it. It was my fault. Accident or not, I should have been more careful. I could have taken responsibility or fetched a bucket of water. Instead, I ran away, terrified of what I'd done. That's the way I ran into the woods and couldn't bear to go back to face the consequences. I slept back into the village and I own them for food. I didn't want to leave and open my parents, but eventually I had to leave. I took to wandering high forest, but I kept running into the wrong people and doing the wrong thing. Eventually, Turling the tree and grabbed me and said, take a hike. Well, maybe not in those words exactly. And so I left High Forest. I've been wandering for a while now. I've got a few ideas for a destination, but I'm still considering them. Come, let us continue this journey together. Alright, so, I've heard a national. If I'm going to look into the Iron Crest, I should speak with someone in power who might have some information for me. Perhaps the mayor will be of some help. Coincidentally here, uh... Think carefully. Alright, so I wonder what purpose they serve. Stand away, citizen! Identify yourselves. If you're seeking to resolve troubles, welcome. If you're seeking to cause them, find the ticket elsewhere. Things are not good here, man. Aye, what is good around here anymore? Our iron is rotten and there is talk of demons in the mines. The lower levels have been but all but abandoned until this crisis passes. And then there is the question of Commander Bard, or Braj. Ack, they have stripped of him of that title, but I use it yet. He killed his wife and children in a rage one night. And all who saw him. Then he tore himself away and headed for the hills. He is out there still and still with more. As much ground as for those he's taken. Fire on you now. You have brought tears to the eyes of a soldier. Jeez. Please, dude. Pull your jets. Well, with caution. Perhaps this would be a good opportunity for us to rest up. I will show you justice. It may be a touch unladylike, but I'm gonna slit your throat, I am. Fancy man, I see you strolling here. Bold as day, I expected a hunting chase from the description. But who might argue easy finds in the present? May the Lord of Shadows guide you swiftly to your death. Who I am is not a poem. Though my name is Mira, what I am is a hunter of bounties, and on your head is a lovely little son. Does it satisfy your voice? I thought it would. No matter. You're catching a bad case of death. <laughs>
bizarre. You know what's great? I don't know what the characters prior to this. You know what? No. I got a better idea. This should be a good place to stop it right now. Um, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see everyone next time.